of Gemini Legions, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are returning, thank you. I'm going to be using the light series to pull your message, Gemini. Let's split this into three piles. One, two, three. We'll knock it. Let's get the best and highest messages for Gemini. Ooh, okay, two cards out. First card out is the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. What's the shadiness that's going on right here, Gemini? This could either be done to you or you could be sneaking around, okay? Maybe, um, you know, unsure of where your path is taking you. Be mindful of this. Don't make any like impulsive or irrational decisions because I guarantee you I assure you that you will resent them after you do them, okay? The Seven of Swords energy here is about something about betrayal, right? Deception, lies. Um, there's trickery involved, right? It's like you scheming and there's a strategy to your madness. Is there a method to your madness, right? This could also you being very sneaky behind the scenes. I feel like this is being done to you, um, but with the Four of Pentacles, right? I feel like, okay, so it's like, it's like that karma, right? So it's like, if you do, you know, sneaky behavior or negative things, then you'll get to that in return. And I feel like this is karma that you're receiving from like past behavior of who you used to be, right? You may no longer be this now, but this is definitely someone that you used to be like. So it's like, be mindful of your finances because some people are trying to milk you out, right? They're taking advantage of you financially, right? It's like very, I don't know. There's a sense here of unfairness in some way. Let's get more information for you, Gemini. Spirit, tell me more. It's like you're protecting your assets, Gemini. I feel like one of your biggest dreams is to like buy a home. You see how like the home is in the background. Like there's several homes, right? And she's protecting her pinnacle, right? She's holding her clutch. She has like, you know, several coins in there and she's like, okay, I gotta save this up. You know, I wanna buy that house. I've been house shopping, right? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So these are changes that are happening for you. Uh, little small victories, small and big victories. This is unexpected change as well, okay? With the chariot, this could be a victory of you overcoming obstacles within your life, partnerships in some type of way, success, your ambition, right? Your ability to focus is super on point, right? You have tunnel vision. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel in any situation, Gemini. In Greek mythology, you seem to be connected to Athena. Oh, the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo in, in your life. This is you also, like, I feel like around August, yeah, you're going to have a very successful um, endeavors in life, right? With Leo energy, it's like you're claiming your power and you're really setting aside the differences from the past people places and things that were probably problematic within your life it's like you're now willing to unveil your face right it's like half of you was a poker face the other half was your true transparent authentic self but now you're like fully removing the mask gemini okay and you're unveiling this transparency, but you're saying, don't mistake in my kindness for weakness either. I'm a Gemini rising. So um, I, could, I can relate to this a little bit for sure. Oh yeah, six of pentacles. Equal give and take energy, Gemini. Jeez. Look at that, six of pentacles. Equal give and take of energy, right? You're working hard, so you're going to play hard, right? You're working hard, so you're going to get that fat paycheck. So tell me more for Gemini. The full card, okay? This is about you trusting the process, right? Really starting to understand that things in life happen for a reason, right? There's nothing in this life, I don't think, that does not happen for a bigger purpose. 
This is new beginnings and this makes total sense with the new moon in Aries. Friday, April 1st, Friday um, at 2.23 a.m. at 11 degrees, right? So this is you awakening, right? This is new beginnings. This is that creativity, that spirituality. This could even be intuition for you. Trusting the love that comes with this, okay? The travel, the idealism, the ability to organize yourself, to be original. You're a true original, right? You're a leader, Gemini. You've always been a leader. You're free-spirited. You're spontaneous, right? You love to travel. You have several idealistic views in life. You're not afraid to start over, right? You're not afraid to start from scratch in any situation with any person. In fact, you've had multiple relationships and may have had kids with multiple partners. I'm hearing. Could be like six to seven, seven kids, strongly I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Very intuitive as well with the high priestess, okay? This is you being very intuitive, very like all knowing, okay? This is your unconsciousness, your inner voice. You have this higher power within you. Your spirituality is on point with the fool followed by the high priestess, right? This is your thirst for knowledge to know more, right? To be creative. There's a lot of uh, sense of growth here. I love this for you. Let's pull more energy for you. I'm also hearing you're being asked to go to some type of, like, do something that's spiritual, right? With a cross, with some beads, with a rosary, right? Do something, you know, with that energy because you're being asked here to, um, like, almost, like, pray. Pray for others, okay? Uh, I'm hearing a judgment as well. I'm foreseeing judgment coming out here for you. We have the Hermit and the Three of Pentacles, okay? This is you really finding answers, looking for answers, right? Could even be working with or looking for answers with a team with the Three of Pentacles. What are you looking for exactly though, right? Because there's teamwork here involved, there's collaboration, there's shared goals. But with the Hermit, right? This is you looking for like maybe a spiritual enlightenment, right? You soul searching in some type of way. You may have solitude at times, but you seem to balance it very well with this team of yours. This is your inner guardian, you know, right? You looking deep within yourself, looking at that introspection, really allowing yourself to evolve, right? You have so much major arcana energy right now, Gemini, within the present, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, you're starting to spin on that very correct timeline of your life, right? I mean, you're heading in this new direction in life. This is a totally new beginning. You're feeling lucky. You have this natural balance between the light and the dark, right? If you look at this card, right? And as I feel the energy within this card, right? You're floating within the clouds. Look at you, Gemini, right? There's this shadowy darkness below, right? But you've escaped. Now you're above the clouds. Now you're above heaven, right? You can see down below. You have a bird's eye view. You're opening up, you're standing on one foot, right? You're like, namaste, bitches. Like, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah. Queen of Swords energy. There's a person here, Gemini, that you seem to be not talking with, right? There's this like search for truth in some type of way, right? The ability to be honest. You're a quick thinker, Gemini, right? You're an air sign, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are all air signs. You're a quick thinker. You're honest, right? You're witty, you're objective. You seem to be independent and fair. You give constructive criticism, right? When asked. That's followed by the world card here. What did I say, right? With the Wheel of Fortune and the world card. Damn, look at this. Sheesh. This is success, achievement in more ways than you could ever imagine, right? This is you completing, fulfilling yourself to new heights, new desires, right? Look at the synchronicities, the ties, like the pentagons, the different shapes here. 
you know, the hexagons, the stars, these are all in 3D, right? Because you're living your dreams in this 3D world, right? For some of you, right, you may enjoy wearing dresses from time to time. Now is the time to wear a dress. There's a lot of dress references within this reading for you, Gemini. We have the Page of Cups, okay? This is the energy of like being open-minded to receiving love. My, you're creative in more ways. You're artistic. You seem to be very graceful, sensitive at times. You seem to dream. You could be naive at times and innocent. There's this big like calling from your inner child that it like is asking for you to pay attention to them, right? little part of you inside let's get one more card for you gemini last card i knew this was coming a death and rebirth okay this is you again new cycle new beginning you're not afraid to start over from scratch right like you know even if you start at the bottom like you'll get your way right back up to the top like, you're a fighter, you're resilient, you have the ability to be a lot more than people may perceive you to be. You're a fighter at heart. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Alright, Gemini, if this reading resonated, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. If you want to enter the draw to get a free personal reading, I would ask you to fulfill four requirements. One, obviously subscribe. Two, like this video. Three, comment down below. Timestamp a portion of this video that resonates with you. And make sure you knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. And most importantly, Gemini, you already know, do not forget to live out your best look. Go. Oh, yeah, and I'll introduce a love quote here.